Welcome back guys to Steven's DIY Auto Repair. So today we have a power steering line leak. And I don't know if you guys can see back here, but it's gonna be that hose right there. The one that comes down like this, it looks like a backwards S. So that line uh, was almost disconnected up top here. I don't know if you guys can see that at the top. It was almost disconnected and when I pushed it more in, I noticed that the ends is the end where that little uh, clip is holding on is ripped. So we're going to go ahead and take out that section of line and replace it. So let's get started. Okay guys, so here's the hose that we're going to put on it. We're going to replace it with and um, you know, backwards S or Z, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and install this. Um, probably going to be a little hard for me to get you in there and show you, but basically all we're going to really do is uh, take these clips here, pull, push them off to the side, pull the hose off the, the power steering line and just insert them back in and there we go. So let's get to it. There's one clip. I'm blinding myself over here. I might have to go under the car for that one. But let's see if we can at least get this line off. See if I can get a better angle on it. You want to make sure you have a pan under here, guys, to catch this power steering fluid. It's going to make a mess.
Oh, hopefully it'll stop leaking soon. <laughs> we gotta get this one off. Okay guys, so we got the hose off and we're gonna put the new one on, but we're also gonna put some of these C clamps in her, these little um, clamp things on here. Just to give it some extra strength because these are high pressure lines. So this one's gonna be the hardest one because it's at a messed up angle. Let me try from, un, from out from underneath the car. Actually, I wonder if it would be easier. No, it probably wouldn't. All right, let me go up. All right, guys, so it's a tight squeeze, but Let me go back under. Try to power it back on, guys. All right, guys, so we're back under. We're gonna try from the bottom now, since we got it on. And it doesn't look like it's gonna be any easier. There we go. Now, let's get this other clamp on, the top one, and get this one pushed on. Especially it's harder when hands are full of grease and power steering foot. Makes it a slip slip and slide. Alright. We're almost there. Oh, man. My hands just keep slipping. All the way on. guys I think that's as good as we're gonna get that one feels pretty tight <clears throat> so now let's work on this bottom one so we're gonna make sure that it's on all the way which it is so we're gonna, let me just <clears throat>
really hard to do this with oily hands, guys. Okay, now let's get that clamp. Let me get out from under here and get that clamp on. All right, let's get this clamp. Oh man, a little tight under here. Here we go. Come on. You can do it, little buddy. You can do it. off guys it just pulled it back yeah that's the whole line that's moving in now I want to make sure we got those tightened up under there and then we'll bring you guys right back all right guys so we have our lines hooked back up and they're on tight um, so we lost quite a bit of fluid here so what we're going to do is we're going to top off, we're going to fill up the reservoir. We're going to come up here, fill up our reservoir here. And then what you want to do is you want to go inside and you want to start your car and turn your steering wheel slowly all the way to the left until it won't go anymore. And then all the way back to the right until it won't go anymore. And you want to keep doing that slowly so that you can um, get the pump um, full of um, power steering fluid and get it pumping through and get out any kind of air bubbles that you might have in your system. And then you want to come back up here and check to make sure your fluid level is uh, where it should be. And then you're all set. So that's what we're going to do now. We're gonna go ahead and start the car, turn the steering wheel all the way to the left, all the way to the right, and then top this off, and that'll be it. And then obviously we wanna check for no leaks. So uh, we'll go under there, make sure we have no leaks from the hose that we put back on, as well as no more leaks from anywhere else. Now, this was a visual inspection. Um, what you can do or probably what you should do is go ahead and clean off all hoses and um, power steering pump and all power steering pump related hoses and reservoir and then go in there and visually inspect after you've cleaned it where the leak might be coming from or use a special die. But based off what I seen, it was just that little section. So we're just gonna roll with that for now and then go back under there and see if we have any more leaks or if it continues to leak then we'll bring you guys back for um that if if there is a leak but all right guys enough rambling on so i hope you liked this video if you guys did make sure to hit that like button if you guys would like to be notified when i put out another video make sure to hit that bell notification and subscribe to my channel guys for more informational videos so if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, go ahead and put them in the comment section below. And until next time, have a good one.